In this presentation, we have to calculate the number of zeros at the end of factorial of any number. I have one example and we have to calculate number of zeros at the end of 15 factorial. We already know the expansion for n factorial it is equal to n multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 2 multiplied by n minus 3 all the way to 1. So by using this we can easily expand 15 factorial and uh, this is the expansion for 15 factorial. Now we have to concentrate on 5. Why we are concentrating on 5? Because 5 multiplied by any even number, any even number gives us 0. And we are looking for number of zeros at the end of 15 factorial. So we have to concentrate on 5. I have one 5 here. 10 I can write. 2 multiplied by 5 so another 5 from 10 15 I can write 3 multiplied by 5 so we have another 5 from 15 in total we are having 3 5's and hence we have 3 zeros at the end of 15 factorial and this is our answer but what if number is large like 100 factorial we are not going to expand 100 factorial and search for 5 in the expansion it is not possible to count 5 in that expansion. For this we have one shortcut. And let's say the number is n and we want to find out number of zeros at the end of n factorial. Now number of zeros, number of zeros is equal to n by 5 plus n by 5 raised to power 2 plus n by 5 raised to power 3 and in the same way we have to complete the sum but there is one very important point that you must remember in this sum we have to we have to take integral value of this sum fine if this is 3.25 we have to consider 3 only we don't have to consider 2.5 because we cannot have 3.25 zeros or 4.75 zeros it must be integer so we have to consider the integral value only now we will try to find out 15 factorial by using this shortcut n is equal to 15 so number of zeros is equal to 15 by 5 plus 15 by 25 5 square is 25 plus 15 by 625 5 cube is 625 and uh, from here I will have 3 from here I will have 0 0.6 and this will also give us decimal part for this sum which we don't want so we can stop here and we can include this 3 only because this is the integral value that we are getting from this sum and hence number of zeros is equal to 3 that we have already evaluated by counting number of fives. Let's see another example and uh, in this example we want to calculate number of zeros at the end of 100 factorial. I am going to use this shortcut so number of zeros is equal to in this case n is 100 so 100 by 5 plus 100 by 25 plus 100 by 625. 100 is smaller than 625 so we can stop here because we want integral value. 100 by 5 is 20 and 100 by 25 is 4 so we are having 24. So at the end of 100 factorial total number of zeros are 24 and this is our answer. Third problem is homework problem. You have to find out total number of zeros at the end of 500 factorial. Use this shortcut and once you have your answer post it in comment section. This is all for this presentation. We have a very simple trick to find number of zeros at the end of factorial of any number.